it's coming round. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm gonna keep you alive. Oh, good. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. He's dead. My but it's Sir Radzik. I called that it. That of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. I called it. Although, how much can he really care about you? That symbol moment. Here you are, a homeless orphan. And he still hasn't it. acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead! I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. Sounds <sighs> like it's literally a bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will cross you. And I'll be there to see it. <laughs> I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <laughs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I had. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg? Or Sahinek, the dry devil? I they fought for your I king did. and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. <laughs> Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? No. Jesus, that brute really worked you over. Wait, do I know this person? I know him, right? Try to drink. Yeah! He's spade guy, right? I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? It's spade guy. Bishop, you fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. 
So do you want my help or not? Sure. I'll take your help. Seems like better than nothing. What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Um, why? Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. Okay. So really, why do you want to help me? So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. Tell me the truth. You want to tell me the truth. But I do care. I don't believe a word you say. I know you're up to something. So you better try harder to convince me, or I'm not going anywhere with you. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. <laughs> a bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? Okay, okay. Why don't you go on your own? What would I do? I've been left alone in this world, and I'm an outlaw. How long do you think it'll take before I'm swinging from a gibbet? I need to get some coin and get the hell out of here. Okay, what's your plan? How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. Okay, my stuff, though? What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. Let's go. All right then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp, on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all? Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well... I'm supposed to be guarding you, so we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. All right. Where are we? We're here. Okay, well, sneak, 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 sneak. I gotta try, right? Of any lot pick. Okay. 
But I know where the lockpicks are. Well, is there any here? Save your snaps. We'll have all of that, obviously. Lockpicks over here. Who's there? No one. No one's here. It worked. He's clueless. He has no idea I'm here. I have no way of leaving this building, but he has no idea I'm here. Go back along your old path there, matey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dig into the shadow. I want to look right in here. Because there's something we can rob. Yep. There's the lot picks. So I'm not going to pick up the sword because we don't need the sword. Sneak, 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 sneak. We good? We're good. He's going down the hill. Right. Back over here. And we unlocked it. We saw his keys earlier. They're under here. We got them. Hey, call. Yeah, I knew what the chest was once we got everything. Don't put on anything, because putting on anything is bad, because it will mean that they know where we are. What we should do is eat, is have the savior snaps. Yeah. I'm going near the door so I can try and hear. I think he's going. Stealth God. Right. So we'll head in here. Who's there? Stealth God. Don't move. Okay, time to go. There's no way to go that way. Okay. I see him. He went that way. He's right there. I need to wait for him to walk back, and then we can sneak further. I'm gonna walk, sneak over to the wall. Do shoes make us sneak here? Not those shoes. Well, we'll know he's gone when the light disappears. I'm really trying to listen here. There he is. Wait, where's he going now? That's fine. Don't make that. We're good. We're good. We found the wall. We're told that near the wall there's a way out. So where's the way out? It's all the way along here. We already got our stuff back. 
Let's try and get your equipment. We already have our equipment, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we got everything I care about. I mean, apart from the ring that we somehow lost, but that's fine. We lost Bianca's ring ages ago. We just keep going this way, or are we going to get blocked? Hard blocked, okay. Okay, so. We have to go in towards the camp. That seems bad. Is anybody here? Someone's there. Well, that is... Annoying. I guess, actually, instead of going this way... We need to head up and around left. Wait for him to go up to the other post. Then we move. What's going on there? Nothing. What's that? No one. Well, come on. I meant to get through this one. I can make a run for it. I mean, I have my equipment. We have to sneak. Guess we go this way. What's that? Run! Well, I never. The pictures. That's what is going on. What's going on there? Can't stand it. Up there? How do I even get up here? Ooh, oh, you use, 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 use. I'm gone. I'm gone. That way. Okay, the other way. Do not put on any equipment. That's a bad idea. It'll slow us down. Try and walk down the hill. Wait, do we have healing equipment? Marigold, what's it do? It'll heal our light wounds over one minute. Yeah, it's working. Run, 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 run. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on my equipment. I think it's time. Little did you know, Henry is master at putting on equipment. Okay. Might as well wear that, wear that. We're wearing everything. Okay, I want my sword. I want my shield. I need my torch, actually. Otherwise, I can't see and we'd be breaking the law. Uh, and my bow. We good? We're good. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right. Uh, uh, we're good. Just keep running. Yep, we're good. Ah, hey, we're healing a little bit. I think we're actually out of range, which is lovely. We actually escaped. Just amazing. Hey. So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Uh, a deal's a deal. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. Alright then, we're all walking. Uh, that's not what we're wearing. We have all of our equipment.
Any word about your boy, Radzig? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Harush. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry! Father? <laughs> I told you he had balls! Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranig. But now I know what they're planning. All right. Well... What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Scalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rebel of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he? Well, here's the thing. He is a murderer and a traitor. And actually, you know what? Even though he helped us, he did try he did also put us in, tr in danger and endanger so many people along the way. He pretty much caused this whole thing to happen. Um, so yeah, you know, he's gonna hang. Zbyshek is a mill hand from Scalitz. When I went back there, I found him robbing the dead and he called his bandit mates on me. It was his fault they nearly killed me. He joined Toth's men. And now he thinks that just because he helped me once, everything he did will be forgiven. <laughs> he's expecting to get paid. But he's sorely mistaken. He's a traitor and a murderer who deserves to hang. That's so much money. Swine. You fucking swine! This is what I get for sticking out my neck for you! I'll kill you, you cunt! Henry, I must say I'm a little confused. Go, you bastard! I'm innocent! I saved this fucker's life! You scum! Uh, well, then lock him up! You'll pay for this! My lord will slaughter you all like sheep! You are standing a chance in hell! Leave me alone! Let me go, you fucker! Let's make an example of him. Put anyone else off the idea of banditry. I'll tell the executioner. Well, that's not exactly how the law works. Well, how does the law work these days? Not very well from what I've seen. And I'm not wasting food on criminals while we try to find someone to try them. 
Besides, it'll be good to show the common folk that we're taking action. True enough. All right, then. Glad we're all agreed. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? Oh, Sir Radzik. As you wish, my lord. You're so dead. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Oh, no. I can already see what's going to happen. Okay, so they've sent us away, right? And we've kind of finished their story. They're all planning for this attack. We're going to go to Sir Divish and... Uh, they're all going to get murdered. Right? We've got our horse back. Pebbles? Wait. Is that it? We walk out the door and oh, we're Awake already? I hope you've had a good rest after all you've been through. You might need it. We've got work to do tonight, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You need to rouse Sir Divish and his men for the attack. We'll meet this evening at the Stronghold and settle up with that sly bastard. Can I? Can I ask? Henry, I'm Henry glad you came. Oh, everyone is saying Henry at the same time. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Hey, Captain Bernard? Good health to you. Oh, I guess I can't ask him for stuff anymore. Listen up, man. What's in here? Going to be a long night. Oh, that's no that's the rest of my junk I that I stuck in here. One of you standing here that's in full fine. Armor and ready for action by sunset. Uh, wash yourself, definitely. Is that it? Are we... Is that us done? <gasps> Pebbles! You're back. Right. So, one thing we should grab is from Pebbles. We should grab one of our Marigold decoctions. Just move one to our inventory. And a Lazarus potion. And what's Preserver? Nah, I don't care. Get rid of dog? Nope, don't care. Vitality? Don't really care. That's fine. Well, I guess if that's... It says there's an activity giver? Oh, that's the uh, one that we could steal stuff for. I guess if that's us done, then we're going to Talmberg, right? Can we not fast travel? I just want to fast travel to Talmberg? No fast travel, huh? That's not suspicious at all. Not having fast travel. Uh, where's our sword? Not sort of shield, no really. Well, everybody, let's uh, get going, shall we? Have our eye first, right? Ow! Yeah, what that's what I thought. Out? Have we eaten? Yeah, okay, we're good. Like to fast travel to Talberg, please? There we go. It wasn't let me fast travel before. Although maybe I wasn't clicking the right button. I don't know. That's entirely possible, and now that I think about it, also likely. But yeah, we have been everywhere on the map. We know who the bad guy is. We know what the plan is. We know who we are. I guess that's... What, what else is there? There's going to be a final fight and we're done? Or... I, my only thought is Sir Rancic and Sir Hanush can die. We go with... Talmberg to speak to the king's army or something and then we go and take it back and now we're good I guess maybe that's my current thought of how this goes and we marry Lady Stephanie and we live happily ever, ever after or we marry um, whatever what's her name Theresa we're happily ever after one, one or the other yeah We'll see. Anyway, we were told to go quick. Whoa! What are you guys doing here? Alright, in here. Go. 
get off our horse. Rush in. Sir Hanoush. Not Hanoush. Divish. I need your aid. Sir, I bring an urgent message from my father. From Sir Radzig and Hanush. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanush have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all our recent troubles? You may have met him. Istvan Toth. No, I haven't met him. But Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before... before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service of King Sigismund, and he's fighting the nobility who support King Wenceslas. They've amassed quite a force at the old stronghold above Sassau, and they're planning to attack very soon. Father and Hanush have decided to move first and destroy him before he's prepared. Oh, for Christ's sake. When and how? Tonight. They send word for you to muster your men and rendezvous with them at Vranjik. This is madness. Maybe it is. But I fear that Radzik and Hanush are right. The sooner we cure this pestilence, the better. Gather the men and make ready. We march tonight. Leave only as many as you must to guard the castle. Very well, sir. As you command. Will you be coming with us? Of course. Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. Don't want to miss the show. You didn't expect me to leave all the glory to you. Never. We wouldn't dream of starting without you. What news? Did you parley with them? <laughs> we did. And what was the outcome? <laughs> Not quite what we hoped for. Radzig wanted to go parley with him in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. <laughs> it seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing, too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the countryside. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. It's going to make us remember. That's what do you want to know, exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though. Even if only by a few men. 
And our men are well armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. Untrue. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other sides? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. And we have quite a few archers. Someone with a brain. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. Divish has an actual brain so, for strategy. I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. I shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robot and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. God be with you, my friends. We'll wipe those whore sons off the face of the earth. Can I be part of the archery group? Because I don't really want to sneak around the back. 